decided to walk downtown to the Woolworth and ask for service. And the manager came out and said, well, I hear, I hear you're asking for service here, boys, but unfortunately we don't serve Negroes here. There was a little old white lady, strode toward me, and I said, oh my, here comes someone to spit in my face or slap my face. I was prepared for it. Well, she stands between McNeil and me behind us and puts a hand on our shoulders, our shoulders and said, boys, I'm so proud of you. I only regret you didn't do this 10 years ago. And it said to me, Franklin, don't you ever stereotype anybody because you never, ever know. Your parents and grandparents have a civil rights story and their legacy lives on in you. How did their struggles impact you? Go to aarp.org slash tell a story to join the voices of civil rights.